now we will talk about the covalent bond covalent bond is also called electron pair bond why this is called electron pair bond this is because covalent bond is formed between two atoms that share the pair of electron in between them and they form a bond that is called covalent bond now covalent bond can be of two types first is non polar and second is polar for the non polar covalent bond the bonding electron pairs are equally shared for example as in the case of h2 cl2 edc such type of molecules the two electrons forming the covalent bond are equally shared by the uh, two identical atoms and uh, that atoms will have the same electronegativities and due to even distribution of the charge on them the bonded atoms remain electrically neutral for example hydrogen or chlorine like this such type of bonding is called covalent bonding the other such molecules like uh, br2 i2 f2 similarly um, ccl4 is also electronegative why this is uh, not composed of the similar atoms i have talked about that similar atoms in non polar covalent bonding similar atoms are sharing their electron pairs but ccl4 is uh, still non polar uh, it is composed of two different elements but it is non polar the reason is that in this molecule due to its symmetry cancellation of all the dipoles of the of the molecule takes place and actually all the carbon chlorine bonds are polar but the molecule is non polar overall if we see like we can write its symmetry as here similarly if we talk about this molecule or they are also non polar now we will talk about the polar covalent bond when two different atoms are joined by a covalent bond the electron pair is not equally shared between the bonded atoms the bonding pair of the electrons will be displaced towards the more electronegative atom and this would make one end of the molecule partially positive and the other partially negative like i will take an example of hydrogen fluoride in which this electron they will share this electron pair now in this case hydrogen is very less electronegative as compared to fluorine so what will happen here is their shared electron pair the bonded electron pair will pass its more time uh, around the fluorine atom and less time with the hydrogen atom so hydrogen will get partially positive charge and fluorine will get partially negative charge because it has pulled the shared electron pair more towards itself so it will get partially negative charge if we take the example of a uh, methyl chloride ch3 cl in which uh, we can 
draw the molecule as this now chlorine is more electronegative than carbon chlorine will get partially negative charge and carbon will get partially positive charge why because their shared electron pair will pass more time uh, around chlorine um, than the carbon atom so uh, methanol is another best example of polar covalent molecule because it contain a polar bond now you can see in every example that two poles positive and negative are formed in these atoms now we will take the example of methanol now oxygen will get partial negative and carbon will get partial positive why oxygen is more electronegative than carbon atom so it will share its uh, bonding electron pair more towards itself so bonding bonded electron pair will pass more time here and it will get partially negative charge now an atom can share more than one electrons to form what is called a double or triple bond the examples are o2 n2 carbon dioxide as if we see in nitrogen atom nitrogen shares three bond pairs with its neighboring nitrogen or we can write it like triple bond if it is sharing only one electron pair then single bond will be formed if it is sharing two electron pairs then double bond and if it is sharing the three electron pairs there will be triple bond in between the uh, elements so covalent bond is actually the sharing of electron pair between the molecules and ionic bond was bond formed between the atoms by uh, release of electron from one atom and acceptance of electron from another atom so bond forms due to ions is ionic bond and bond forms by poles or sharing of electrons is called covalent bond now we will talk about the coordinate covalent bond which is the easiest one and easy to understand and i'll give you only one example and you will understand what is coordinate covalent bond a coordinate covalent bond is formed between the two atoms when the shared pair of electron is donated by only one of the bonded atoms let us consider the example of bond formation between ammonia and boron trifluoride ammonia and boron trifluoride ammonia has a uh, three bonded atoms and a uh, one electron or lone pair on the nitrogen atom now on the other hand boron atom uh, is deficient in the electrons actually the octet of boron is not completely filled so therefore nitrogen will donate its lone pair to the boron and nitrogen will called donor and boron will be called acceptor of electron therefore uh, the bond formed in between them is called coordinate covalent bond first of all they will coordinate with each other by donating and by accepting the electron and then they will share that electron pair so this is called coordinate covalent bond because after accepting an electron it will share that electron pair and they will form a bonding in between them and that that is the uh, covalent bond so this is called coordinate covalent bond